You ever on Arthur Avenue, you want to get a good steak, a good piece of lamb, a good piece of veal, you got to come to Vincent's Market. Check it out. Come on. Hey, Frankie, how are you, buddy? Hi, right, how are you? Say hello to Peter. <laughs> you going to hook us up with some good meat today? Yes, we are. All right. What would you like to do today? This is what you call a rib of beef. This is where you get your rib roast, and you get your rib steaks, your rib eye steaks, and this is, happens to be on the bone. You could also get this boneless, and this happens to be a little aged. You see the color? It, that shows that it's, it's a little bit of an age on it, which makes the meat very tender when you age it. You get your knife, and you want to shave it. Just shave that outer piece off, just a little. You see how the color is there? You got the See the difference? That's the age. You take it off. This happens to be aged about two weeks. You can age it three weeks, four weeks. Two things. Cut it in half like that. Now this we're going to cut into steaks. And this we're going to make a roast. I could take this piece of meat off the bone, right? Come down on the bone like this. Okay, now we take this piece off here. This becomes your boneless ribeye. This the center cut here. Keep this on. This is your bone. Let it tie it back on the bone. Okay. Get some string. And you can ask your butcher to do this. You buy the whole piece. And if it's a holiday or you're having a special occasion, some company coming over, you know. And there you go. There's your rib roast. Okay. Now this happens to be top choice meat. If this was prime, it'd be a prime rib roast. Right now it's a rib roast because it's top choice meat. A lot of butchers, not, not Peter's over here, not Vincent. A lot of butchers, they try to say it's prime rib when it's choice meat, it's not. This is really top choice, the best. Getting back to the other half, what we're gonna do is, I'm the type of guy, as I like my steak, I like it on the bone. You could bone it out and have it boneless. Okay, but I'm gonna cut these steaks and keep them on the bone. Okay, so I'm gonna go along the bone. Okay, come all the way down. Okay, and then I'm gonna take one, make it a little thinner and go in the bone. Then I'm gonna go along the bone again. Okay, then I'm gonna go in the bone. And then I'm gonna go along right in the middle of the bone. Trim it up a little bit. And there you have it. You got a nice rib steak with the bone. See how nice? See the marbling in there? It's going to be nice and tender. That's what you want to look for. That white, kind of like creamy, all of that in there. If it's too red and you don't see any, it's going to be like shoe leather. You're going to throw it up against the wall. Forget about it. You're not going to be AD. You're going to be playing baseball with it. Now look at that. Ain't that a steak? Huh? I'm telling you, this guy's got the best meat. Right, Peter? Look at that. Come on. My mouth is watering right now. I'm, I want to have a nice steak when I go home. All right, I think I'm going to go home and grill a few of these. Come here. Here's my buddy, Peter. You did a good job on this? I did a good job? Yeah, what do you think? Job, yes. Look at that. Beautiful. This is going to be a nice, tender, juicy steak. All right. He's got the... Now I was telling him about choice. Yeah. And prime. I mean, I was this telling choice. top choice, right? Yeah, this is high grade choice. All right, so th there's different cuts. There's yeah. different. You could go select, then which is not, too, not good. too good. Then you got that USDA goods. Well, they're tender, but they're not not the quality. No see. taste. Yeah, there's no. That's not a good standard for our store. Tastes like liver. So that's it. That's it. You gotta come here. I mean, this guy's got the best meat. Yeah. So anybody on the Italian American Network that's watching, you want a good Italian butcher? I mean, old fashioned, old school. This is the guy.